Hi, I'm Briny. Welcome to Yoga with Briny. And today we're going to be doing a gentle morning yoga practice. So if you'd like to add a little bit of warmth to your practice, you can bring along a blanket and some socks. Okay, so if you're ready to nurture yourself in love and warmth, slowly roll out your yoga mat and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start the practice lying down. Okay, so if you brought your blanket along, you can place that over you oh, and come to lie down on your mat. Okay, so create space in between the heels. Allow the feet to gently flop to the sides. Relax through the thighs and the pelvis. Soften the jaw and the mouth and the tongue. Tuck the chin in slightly to find length in the neck. Okay, then create some space in between your arms and the torso with the palms facing up towards the sky. And then just take a moment here to settle into your space. Allowing the feet to gently flop to the sides. And feeling the points of contact between your body and the mat. And feel completely supported here by your mat and Mother Earth. And then just take a moment here for the dust to settle. You've arrived on the mat, you've taken this amazing time to care for yourself, to practice self-care and self-love. And now it's time just to allow the dust to settle. And then take a moment here to listen to the sound of your breath, the natural rhythm of your breath. Perhaps you can start engaging in a gentle ujjayi breath with a slight constriction at the back of the throat. helping to calm the mind and the nervous system. Allowing the weight of the body to grow heavy. And as you exhale out, let the weight of the body sink deeper and deeper into the mat. Feeling more and more relaxed and settled. And more and more present. And give thanks for this moment. Thanks for taking the time to come to the mat today to nurture yourself. And to take care of yourself. Okay, so when you're ready, 
make fists with the hands and then start making small rotations with the wrists in one direction. Followed by the other. And then open out the palms, open out the fingers and then slowly make fists one more time. Inhale, open out the fingers and the thumbs. Exhaling, making fists. One more time, inhale, spread the fingers out wide. Exhaling, close. Inhale, opening out. Exhaling, close. And then bring your thumb to your fingertips and just take a moment here to massage your fingertips with your thumbs. Still bring your awareness to the feet and the legs. Still softening through the mouth and the tongue and the jaw. Okay, so when you're ready, release the hands to the mat and then bring your attention to your feet. And then we're going to start drawing circles with the big toes in opposite directions. So as you do this, move with real awareness. Spread the toes out wide and the soles of the feet out wide as well. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the soles of the feet and the toes. And then when you're ready, reverse the circles. Still connecting to your ujjayi breath and feeling settled and relaxed in your space today. Okay, great, good job. Okay, so if you've got a blanket on, maybe it's time just to remove the blanket and place it by your side. And then bring your arms by your sides with the palms facing up. And then bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Okay, so feet are hip width distance apart, knees too. So thighs are parallel and just feel that beautiful connection with your feet on the mat. Okay, so when you're ready, inhale in, press into the heels, lift the toes up. Exhaling, rolling forwards, going onto the toes, lift the heels up. Inhaling, pressing the heels into the ground, the toes rise up. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the backs of the calves. Exhaling, rolling forwards onto the toes. We'll just repeat that a couple more times. So inhale, rise up. Exhaling, going onto the toes. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling, going onto the toes. Great, good job. Come back onto the soles of the feet. Okay, so when you're ready, hug the right knee into the chest, followed by the left, and then interlace the fingers around the shins. And just take a moment here to rock gently from side to side. Tucking the chin in slightly to find length in the neck. And feeling that beautiful massage in the lower back. And then when you're ready, inhaling, exhaling, slowly rolling over onto your left hand side. Still softening through the mouth, the tongue and the jaw. Inhale back to center. Exhaling over to the right. Breathing in love and peace and warmth into your body. Okay, inhale back to center. 
Then one more time, we're going to bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Arms are by the sides with the palms facing down. Then we're going to inhale in, reach the right toes up towards the sky. And then slowly, one more time, draw circles with your right big toe in one direction. Feeling that beautiful contact with the back of the head, the shoulder blades and the lower spine and the mat. And then when you're ready, reverse the circle. Okay, so when you're ready, inhaling, exhaling, slowly crossing the right ankle over the left thigh. Feeling that beautiful opening in the right hip. Okay. And then just take a moment here to breathe into your right hip. Keeping the right foot flexed. If you want a deeper stretch, you can place your right hand onto the inside edge of the right knee and just slowly, gently push away the knee away from you. Feeling a deeper stretch in the right hip. Okay, so slowly release the hand back to the mat, palm facing down. And we're gonna inhale and reach the right toes up towards the sky. Exhaling, slowly lower down. Great, good job. Okay, so we're just gonna repeat that on the other side. So one more time, feel that beautiful connection with your back and the mat and your feet, the back of the head, the arms, the hands, the palms. Okay, so when you're ready, we're going to inhale and reach the right toes up towards the sky. And then one more time, draw big circles with your left big toe in one direction, followed by the other. And then when you're ready, inhaling, exhaling, slowly crossing the left ankle over the right thigh. And then take a moment here to breathe into the left hip. Feeling that beautiful connection with the sole of the right foot and the mat. Continue to listen to your ujjayi breath. And if you want a deeper stretch, you can place your left hand and rest it on the inside of your left thigh or knee and then just gently press on it. Okay, so when you're ready, release your hand back to the ground. Inhaling, reach the left toes up towards the sky. Exhaling, slowly lower the foot back down to the mat. Then one more time, we're going to hug the knees into the chest. Bring the hands to the tops of the knees. And we're just going to take a moment here to draw circles with the knees in one direction. Followed by the other. And take your moment here to tap into your inner smile. Okay, so when you're ready, shine the soles of the feet up towards the sky, bend the knees, and then take hold of the outer edges of your feet. If that's not available for you today, you can hold on to the ankles or the shins. Okay, so broadening through the shoulders, tucking the chin in slightly and still finding that softness in the mouth and the tongue, lengthening the tailbone towards the front of the mouth. And then we're just going to take a moment here to rock gently from side to side. Feeling that beautiful opening in the hips and the groin and shining some light on our beautiful hamstrings. If you prefer, you can bring the hands to the inside edges of the feet coming into stirrup posture 
And again, you can rock gently from side to side, so whichever feels comfortable for you today. Listen to your body. Okay, so slowly one more time, hug your knees in towards your chest and then roll over to any side of your choice. Okay, great, good job. So we're going to come into a seated position. So come into a comfortable seated position of your choice. You can either cross the legs coming into Sukhasana, comfortable posture, or you can bring one foot in front of the other coming into Siddhasana. So remember, try and find length in the spine. If you feel as though your spine is collapsing and the pelvis is coming back, you can place a rolled up blankie underneath the edges of your sits bones to find elevation in the spine. Okay, so sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna inhale in, reach the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhaling, soften down. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling, soften. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling, soften. Okay, great, good job. Okay, so now we're gonna walk the palms forwards. Okay, so just come as far forwards as feels comfortable for you. Okay, and then just take a moment here to bow the head towards the chest. And you can come onto the forearms or you can stay here, so wherever you are in your body today. Accept your body where you are today and give thanks for your body and for this moment. And then just take a moment here to bow your head and rock gently from side to side. And as you do this, send weight into your sits bones. Okay, so when you're ready, we're gonna walk the hands over towards the left-hand side this time. Okay, so pressing into the right sits bone, spread the fingers out wide, feel that beautiful connection with your hands and the mat. And then we're gonna inhale in, draw a line with your nose and look up, exhaling, slowly softening down. And then one more time, you can rock here gently from side to side. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the right side body. Still listening to the sound of your breath. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly walk the hands back to centre. Feeling that connection with your hands and the mat. And then when you're ready, walk the hands over towards the right hand side. Okay, so one side may feel different to the other side. I know this side feels a lot tighter for me. So press into your left sits bone, spread the fingers out wide. Draw the shoulders away from the ears and when you're ready, inhale, draw a line with your nose and look up. Exhaling, slowly softening the head down. And then one more time, you can rock here very gently from side to side, if that feels good for you. Sending love and peace and warmth into your body today. Great, good job. Okay, so we're slowly going to walk the hands back to centre. Come back to our sitting position. One more time, we'll just take a moment here to loop the shoulders. Okay, great, good job. So we're gonna slowly transition into tabletop position. So move very mindfully and consciously. So bring the wrist directly underneath the shoulder, spread the fingers out wide. Claw away from your fingers to take any pressure from the wrists. Knees are directly underneath the hips. Feet are in line with the knees. Okay, and then tuck the chin in slightly and find that beautiful line from the crown of your head to the tip of your tail. So draw navel to spine and then keep a soft micro bend in the elbows. 
And then when you're ready, we're going to slowly send the hips over to the left and look past the right shoulder, looking towards the back of the mat. Inhale back to center. Exhaling, we're going to slowly send the hips over to the right and then looking past the left shoulder. Great, good job. So inhale back to center and we'll just go from one side to the other in your own time. Feeling that beautiful connection with your hands and the mat. Okay, so when you're ready, come back to neutral spine, tabletop position. And then we're gonna slowly step the right foot forwards, coming into low lunge. Janayasana, okay. So front knee over front ankle. Okay, and then come up onto your fingertips and look forwards, be light on your fingers. Inhaling, exhaling, we're gonna slowly walk the fingers back, coming into runner stretch. So send the right hip crease back, flex the right toes and keep a slight micro bend in the right knee. Inhaling, look forwards. Exhaling, soften and fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling, fold. Breathing into the back of the right leg. Okay, so when you're ready, inhaling, we're gonna walk the hands back in front, coming back into low lunge. And then plant the palms on the mat, and then we're slowly gonna walk the right foot towards the left-hand side of the mat. And we're going to come into one-legged king pigeon. Okay, so slowly lower the right sits bone towards the mat. If it doesn't come to the mat, you can place a rolled up blanket under your right sits bone. Okay, and then slowly look towards your left leg. Okay, so fingertips are on the mat. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Feeling that beautiful stretch in the left psoas, the left hip flexor. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale, slowly look up. Exhaling, slowly fold down. Inhale, rise up. Pressing away from your foundation, opening up your chest, your heart space. Exhaling, soften and fold. We'll just do it one more time. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling, fold. Okay, so when you come down to the mat, you can, um, this time you can interlace the fingers in front of you and rest gently here with the gaze looking down. Or you can bring one forearm down followed by the other and rest your head gently down here. Or you can bring your hands forwards and rest your forehead down here. Or if neither of those are available, you can just stay here with your hands like this feeling that beautiful stretch in the right glute. Okay, so wherever you are today, and then we're just gonna take a moment here to breathe some love and warmth into the right side of the hip. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly bring your hands back to the mat. And then we're going to bring the right leg back one more time, coming into tabletop. Okay, so this time we're just going to drop the belly. Open the chest, tailbone shines up. Look forwards, coming into cow posture. Exhaling, rounding through. Sending the tailbone down, drawing navel to spine, chin to chest. Take a moment here to breathe into the back body.
Great, good job. Okay, so one more time. Inhale, slowly lower the belly towards the mat. Open out your heart, your chest space, look forwards. Exhaling, pressing away from your foundation. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Draw navel to spine. Great, good job. Okay, inhale, come back to centre. Come back to tabletop. And this time we're going to step the left foot forwards. Coming into low lunge and Janayasana. Okay, so feeling that beautiful connection with your foot on the mat. Front knee over front ankle. Come up onto your fingertips, look forwards. Feel that beautiful stretch in the right hip flexor, the right psoas. Inhaling in. Exhaling, slowly walking the fingers back. We're going to come into runner stretch, Ardha Hanumanasana. Half splits. Okay, so when you're in this posture, keep a slight micro bend in the left knee. Flex your toes towards your nose. And then when you're ready, we're going to inhale and look forwards. Exhaling, folding down. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling lower. Inhale, rise up. Exhaling lower down. Okay, so we'll just take a couple of moments here to breathe into the left hamstring this time. Okay, so we'll just take a moment here to breathe into the back of the left leg. Sending love and warmth into your body today. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly walk the hands forwards one more time. Okay, so come up onto the fingertips. Feel that beautiful connection with the top of the right foot and the mat. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Come up onto the fingertips. Oh my gosh, that feels amazing. Okay, so this time we're going to walk the left foot over towards the right hand side. Coming into one legged king pigeon on this side. Okay, so remember what I was talking about before, the left sits bone should come in contact with the mat if it doesn't, which mine doesn't on this side. You can bring a blanket underneath your sits bone to support you. Okay, so just bring a blanket under there to give you support. That feels great. Okay, and then bring awareness to your right leg. Okay, and just take a moment here to look back. Okay, so when you're ready, sit up nice and tall, tuck the chin in slightly. Inhaling, exhaling, slowly soften and fold. Inhale, rise up, come up onto your fingertips. Draw a line with your nose and look up, open up your heart and chest. Feel that beautiful stretch in the right hip flexor. Exhaling, soften and fold. Okay, one more time. Inhale, rise up. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears. Exhaling, soften and fold. Okay, so great, good job. One more time, you can interlace the fingers and bring the forearms to the mat and you can stay here looking down or you can bring the forehead to the hands, or you can make a pillow with your forearms. You can reach the hands forwards and rest your forehead gently on the mat. Or if you prefer, you can stay up here. So whichever feels comfortable for you today. Okay, so we're just gonna take a moment here to breathe into the left hip. Breathing in love and peace and warmth into your body today. Feeling more relaxed, more calm and settled. Ready for the day ahead. And taking this energy with you into the rest of your day. Okay, so when you're ready, slowly rise up one more time. Bring the palms 
to the mat and slowly bring the left knee back one more time coming into tabletop okay and then we're going to swing the legs round to any side of your choice and then just come into a comfortable seated position of your choice okay so feel that beautiful connection with your foundation and the mat and then just take a moment here to loop the shoulders taking a deep breath in as your shoulders rise up exhaling out through the mouth one more time deep inhalation in through the nose a long exhalation out through the mouth okay great good job so we're going to close this practice by slowly bringing the hands to heart center feeling that beautiful connection with your thumbs and your heart space Okay, so we're slowly going to bring the thumbs up to the third eye. The light in me bows to the light in you. Inhaling in, exhaling to bow. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope you've enjoyed this gentle morning yoga practice and you're feeling more relaxed and calm and ready to start your day with this beautiful energy. Anyway, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and share it with your friends and family. And I look forward to seeing you really soon. So take care and enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Bye.